Just go over to your mat. Lay down. Bring the soles of the feet together. Want your knees to fall out to the side. Maybe shift the body weight to the right, to the left. A little bit playing with those knees. And then find stillness at center. Gently tuck the chin towards the chest. Let the knees to fall out to the side. And then place your hands onto your hips. Close your eyes. And start to shift your focus to your breath. Slow inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs. Slow exhales out through the nose, releasing the tension from the body, letting the shoulders to become heavier, the hips to open up, the knees to fall out to the side. One more time, deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs. Slow exhale out through the nose, softening the body. Start to build that connection with yourself, build that connection with your breath. Start to focus onto your breath and try to keep that focus the entire time as you're practicing. Guide your focus back to your breath. Be aware of every single inch of your body as we're moving. Now take a deep inhale into the nose, really fill up the lungs all the way to the top. This time, open your mouth and release the air out through the mouth. <sighs> let it out, let it go. Beautiful job. Blink your eyes open, turn the head from one side to the other. Massage out the back of the spot. Then bring the knees together, hug the knees onto your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Roll to the right and roll to the left. Extend the left leg all the way forward and pull the right knee into your right shoulder socket. Flex your left foot, push the back of the left knee down to the mat and point your right toes. Then pull the right knee out to the side into the shoulder socket as you tuck the chin towards the chest and elongate through the neck. Take a deep inhale, feel the length through the body from the left heel all the way to the crown of the head. Exhale, assist the right leg over to the left and find a gentle twist. If your right knee is not coming down to the mat, that's absolutely fine. This is just the beginning of our class. So be gentle with the body. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. Exhale, allow yourself to twist a little deeper using the gravitation. Come back to center, hug both knees onto your chest, give yourself another squeeze, then switch out to the, right, the other side, right leg long. Flex the right foot, push the back of the right knee down to the mat, and pull the left knee out to the side, point the left toes. Pull the belly and tuck the tailbone under, pull, tuck the chin towards the chest, Deep inhale, exhale. Start to bring the left knee over to the right. Bring the left arm out to the side. Turn the left palm to the ceiling. Take a deep inhale. Lengthen through the spine. Pull the belly gently into the spine. Exhale, turn and twist. Let the left knee fall over to the right. Okay, come back to center. And we're going to come into a half happy baby pose. You're going to place the left sole of the foot down to the mat. You're going to bend your right knee. And then start to pull the right knee into the right shoulder socket. Then reach from the inside of the right knee, reach to the outside arch of the right foot. Good. Then slowly extend the left leg all the way forward. Maybe place the left palm onto your left hip. Pull that right knee out to the side. Pull it into that shoulder socket. Now lift the right leg high. Keep a bending to the right knee and gently pull the right shin towards the face. If this is too intense, you can re-bend the left leg, placing the sole of the left foot back down to the mat. If you're ready for that, you can keep the left leg straight. Good, then switch it out. Place the sole of the right foot down to the mat. Grab onto your left leg and pull the left knee out to the side. Then reach from the inside of the left knee and reach to the outside of the left foot. Pulling the left knee into that shoulder socket. So good. Good, then, then bring the left leg back to center. Keep a bend into the left knee, pull the left shin towards the face and maybe start to straighten out through the right leg. Feel that stretch in your hamstring on the left side. Maybe keep the right knee bent if that's too much. And then release, hug the knees back onto your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Then bring the knees into a tabletop position, knees right over the hips, flex the feet and bring the fingertips behind the ears. Then slowly lift up the chest, lift the shoulder blades away from the mat. Then reach the arms forward. Turn the palms towards each other like you're holding a block in between those hands. Try to lift the chest a little higher. Now hold the chest here. 
Try not to touch the mat with the shoulder blades as you extend the right leg forward. Pull the belly in, hold it here, flex the right foot, lift the chest a little higher. Then exhale, switch the legs, reach the left leg forward, right leg comes back. Lift up the chest a little bit more, lifting those shoulder blades. And exhale, switch. Shh. Now with the breath, exhale, switch. Shh. Exhale, twist, switch. Nice and slow, moving with the breath. Keep the back of the neck long, keep the shoulder blades lifted. Good. Now then your left leg comes forward, keep it there. And then see if you can reach the right leg to meet the left. Lift the chest a little higher, point the toes, maybe release the legs a little lower. And hold it there for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the knees back to your chest, giving yourself a nice squeeze. Then grab behind the knees and start to rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. Make your way all the way into a tabletop position at all fours. Then come in to thread the needle. Pull the belly in. Inhale your right arm to the ceiling. Exhale, turn and twist. Keep the right shoulder, right ear down to the mat. This time reach the left arm forward. Turn the left tricep down to the mat. Pull the belly in. Reach back to the table. Lengthen through the spine. Good. And then lift the left arm to the ceiling. Bend your top arm and reach back for your half bind. Stay here. Shift the body to the right knee. And maybe pick up the left foot. Maybe extend the left leg to the ceiling. Or maybe play with a variation as you bend the top leg and reach back for your foot or ankle. Remember, you can keep the knees down to the mat. You don't have to lift the leg away from the mat. Good. Then release. Slowly place the left knee down to the mat. Push the left palm into the mat. And inhale, reach the right arm to the sky. Exhale, release it down. Stay here. Turn the right toes out to the side. Come into a modified side plank position. So your right knee is down to the mat. Your left leg is the extension of the whole body. Lift the left arm to the ceiling. And slowly start to float the left leg up and away from the mat. Then reach the top arm forward, lengthen through the whole spine. Pull the belly in from the left fingers all the way to the back heel. You create a nice long energy line. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Now just lift the top arm back to the ceiling, bend your back leg and reach back for your foot or ankle. Start to kick into that paw. Create, pushing the front ribs more forward, pushing the belly more forward. Maybe guide your gaze behind you. Creating this teardrop, teardrop shape with the body. You then slowly release with control. Reach the left leg back. Then slowly release the left foot down to the mat. Use your core to lift up your chest. Come on into gate pose. Then reach up and over. Reach the right arm over the head. As you gently release the left fingertips down onto the mat. Taking a deep inhale. Feel that stretch. Exhale. Bring the hands down to the mat. Come on back into a tabletop position, all fours. Lift the left arm to the ceiling, open up. Exhale, thread the needle, reach the left arm underneath the body. Shoulder is down, left ear is down to the mat. Start with reaching the right arm forward. Rotate the right tricep muscle down. Lengthen from the right pinky finger all the way back to your right tailbone. Right side tailbone, is one tailbone. Good, then lift the right arm back to the ceiling. Bend your elbow, reach back behind your back. Stay right here, just opening through the chest, opening through the right shoulder, or maybe playing with a little bit of a balance, if you like. Pick up the right leg, lift it up, maybe bend the top leg, reach back for your foot or ankle, or, or just an option. Nice job. When you're ready, slowly release the foot down, the right knee down, open up from the bind, push the earth away, open to the left side, open it up, and come on back down. Good, now you're going to do that modified side plank on the other side. Turn the left toes out, step the right leg back behind you, and lift the right arm to the ceiling. Elongate through the right side body, engage the right outer hip, and fold the right foot up and away from the mat. Lift the right heel all the way hip high, then reach the top arm all the way forward. Lengthening through the spine, pull the belly in, reach from the top fingers all the way to the right heel. And now you can play with bending that top leg and reach back for your foot or ankle. Kick into the palm, opening through the chest, pushing the front ribs and the belly forward, and maybe guiding the gaze back behind you. Gently, without slingshotting, release the foot, reach it all the way back. Slowly release the right foot down to the mat. Use your oblique to rise up and lift the left arm up and overhead. 
Reach to the right side. Now feel the stretch all the way to the right side body. Good. Then bring the other hands down to the mat. Come on back all the way into a tabletop. Slide your hands forward. Stretch back into a downward facing dog. Then right your feet. Bend the right knee, then the left. Shake your head around. Yes and no. In and out. Then find stillness in your down dog. Pushing the earth away. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale it out. Walk your feet just a little closer to your hands. Make your right hand reach over to the left leg. Now instead of twisting, gaze forward, gaze at the left thumb. And then see if you can shift the body weight to the left foot and come onto your right tippy toes. Maybe you can pick up the right foot for a second and balance. Or maybe you can start to lift the right leg up and away from the mat and lift it all the way to the ceiling. Keep holding on to that left ankle. And slowly release all the way back down. Good, just a little play time. Reach to the outside of the right leg. And instead of twisting, gaze down at the right thumb this time. Shift the body weight to the right foot and see if you can pick up the left foot just for a second. Maybe you can hover that left foot. Maybe with your strong core, you can start to lift the left leg up and away from the mat. Keep holding on on the right ankle, pushing the earth away with the right thumb. And gently release the foot down to the mat. Release the left palm down. Walk your hands back to your feet. Come into your ragdoll Uttanasana. Grab it onto opposite elbows. Swing the body from one side to the other. Interlock the hands behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift up the fist. Come let the crown of the head come further down to the mat. Bringing the forehead in between the shins. Release the hands down to the mat. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Slide your palms up onto the shin bone. Make your spine nice and long. Reach the crown forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Pull the belly in. Now keep all that length. Lean more forward. And exhale. Fold all the way forward. Uttanasana. Keeping your feet hip distance apart. Inhale. Place the hands onto your hips. And rise up in a flat spine all the way to stand. Bring the hands to your heart center. Sama Siddhi. Your feet are still hip distance apart. Then lift the arms to the ceiling, grab onto your left wrist, pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under, and reach the arms all the way to the right side. Root down through the heels, make your toes light, lift up from the waistline, and reach the upper body all the way to the right. Come back to center, grab onto your right wrist, tuck the tailbone under, and start to reach all the way to the left. Maybe gaze up to the ceiling, soften the shoulders away from the ears, Lift the chin away from the chest, push the hips to the right, and inhale, come back to center. Place your hands onto your lower back, point your fingers down, engage your glutes, and slowly start to push the hips forward. As you push the hips forward, your chest is going to start to peel up towards the ceiling. Now squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest a little higher, lengthen out from your lower back, and find the nice back bend. Good, come on back to center, inhale, lift up the arms, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Turn your toes out, the heels in, and squat down into Malasana. Hands at your heart center, pushing the elbows into your inner knees. Lift up the chest, pull the belly in. Gently tuck the chin towards the chest. Stay here if that's enough, or maybe we're going to go into a little twist. Left finger tips down, push the left tricep into the left inner knee, and lift the right arm to the sky, open to the chest. Hold it here, just work on opening to the chest, or maybe bend the top arm and reach back behind your back. You can even go into a full bind. Maybe grab onto the right wrist and open through your chest. Come back to center, twisting over to the other side. Right tricep presses into the right inner knee. Lift the left arm to the sky. Hold here, just work on this nice opening. Or maybe reach back behind your back. Maybe go for the full bind. Now this time grab it onto your left wrist. See if you can make the left arm straight. And twist your chest to the ceiling. So good. Come on back to center. Hands at your heart center. Walk your hands out. And coming back into a downward facing dog. Fix your legs. Make them parallel. All the way hip distance apart. Palms are shoulder distance apart. Lift the hips nice and high. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale it out. Inhale. Lift the right leg up and away from the mat. Just halfway. Reach back to the right heel. And as you exhale, pull the knee to your nose. Round through the upper spine. Take a chin to the chest. Then bring the forehead and knee all the way to touch. 
Hold it here, right on through the upper spine, now gaze forward and step the right leg all the way forward into low lunge. Drop the back knee down, point the left toes back, rise up, place some hands onto your right knee. Pull the belly in, lift up the arms, lift up from the waistline. Pulling the belly in, releasing the hips a little deeper down to the mat. Then bring the hands back to your heart center, twist and hold the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Pressing the palms together, twisting in the waistline, hugging the right hip back into the center line and energizing through the frontal left hip bone. Now stay in your twist, tuck the, tuck the back toes under, tuck the left toes under and slowly with control start to lift the left knee away from the mat, staying in a little twist. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale it out. Maybe start to guide your gaze up to the ceiling, soften the right shoulder away from the right ear. Good, then release the fingertips down to the mat, release the back knee down to the mat, point the back toes back, left palm stays down, right arm reaches back. Stay here, just reaching back with the right fingers or bend your left leg, reach back for your foot or ankle. Deep inhale through the nose, exhale it out. Release the foot, bring the right palm back, straighten out to the right knee and flex the right foot towards the face, come into house split. If you like to go into full split, you're totally ready for that, you've already been doing lots of hamstring stretches this morning, feel free to head in there. Take a deep inhale and now see if you can maintain a flat spine as you gently bend the elbows and reach with your sternum more forward. Be stretching out the entire hamstring, going all the way up to your lower back. Good, gently release, re-bend the right leg, plant the palms, step back into a high plank position, slowly start to bend the elbows, and push back into a high plank pose, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg halfway up, reach back, straight left leg, point the left toes down to the mat, exhale, come forward into a high plank pose, pull the left knee to the chest, maybe lift the left shin bone a little higher, really hug it in with a strong core muscles, then gaze forward and stab the left leg all the way forward into a low lunge. Then drop the back, no, yes, drop the back knee down, point the right toes back behind you, then lift up your chest, pull the belly in. Good, okay, first you're gonna reach the arms to the ceiling, and then you're gonna start to drop the hips further down to the mat. Lift all the way to the ceiling from the belly all the way up, sink the hips a little bit deeper. Then bring your hands to your heart center, lean forward, and hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Now find this twist here in this lower position. Turn from your waistline, pull the left hip back into a center line, press the palms together and twist. Now tuck the back toes under, and then slowly, how slowly you can do this, lift that back knee, that right knee away from the mat, and try to make that right leg all the way straight. Now from the crown of the head to the right heel, lengthen out through the body. Deep inhale, exhale, twist and turn. Good, then release, hands down to the mat. Drop the right knee down, point the right toes back, right palm stays flat, left arm reaches back. Open up through the chest, maybe bend your back leg and reach back for your foot or ankle. Roll the left shoulder back, gaze up to the ceiling. Slowly release. Shift the body weight back, come into that half split or maybe full split. Ardha Hanumanasana or Hanumanasana pose. Pulling the left hip back into its socket, pull the belly in and lengthen to the spine. Reach with the sternum, the middle part of the chest more forward. Pull the lower belly in and exhale, go a little deeper. And then slowly re-bend the left leg, blend the palms, step back into a high plank pose. Bend your elbows, come down, Chaturanga. Push it back into high plank pose. Downward facing dog, hips come high to the scalp. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, come into a half lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, lift up the arms. Bring the bicep to the ears. Soften the ears, shoulders away from the ears. Turn the pinky slightly in. Shift the body weight back to the heels. Exhale, twist, reach the right arm back, left arm forward. Turn the right hip more forward, twisting your torso. Come back to center, inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, twist and turn to the left. Reach the fingers away from each other, sit down a little bit deeper. 
Good, then come back to center, bring the hands to your heart center, sit down even deeper, maybe come on up onto your tippy toes, hold it here, lift the heels a little higher, now start to drop the hips further down towards the mat, good, and squat that all the way into this toe step, take a deep inhale, hold it here as you exhale, and slowly release the glutes down to the mat, Come on all the way down to your back. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of an eagle crunch here. So lay down onto your back and cross the right knee on top of the left. Find your eagle leg, maybe just one bind, maybe a full bind. And then bring the right elbow underneath the left elbow. Find a bind here. As you exhale, lift up the shoulders and slightly lift up the tailbone away from the mat. As you inhale, you reach the legs and the arms away from each other. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Keep going. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Hold it up there. And little tiny pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Hug the knees onto your chest. Good. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Cross the left knee on top of the right. Find your eagle leg, then bring the left elbow underneath the right. Find your eagle arm or grab an opposite shoulder. Exhale, lift everything up, tailbone, shoulder blades. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, reach. Keep going. Five. Shh. Good. Strengthen the core. Come on. Four. Shh. Slow it down. Three. Shh. Good. Keep going. Two. Shh. Good, one more and hold it up and let's pulse it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug the knees onto your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, give yourself a hug. Start to rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. Make your way back into a downward facing dog. Kids come high to the sky. Good. Now inhale, lift the right leg up. Point the toe, bend the knee, circle out through the hips. Circle with the knee. Now lift the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right tricep. Now squeeze it in as much as you can. If you want, you can try to drop down, bend the elbows, and then see if you can go into your hurdler pose, lifting the legs away from the mat. Or just squeeze the elbow in. Good, inhale, your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, cross. Bring the right knee to the left tricep. Hold it here. Squeeze, crunch. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through, low lunge. Inhale, rise up high, crescent lunge. Lift up the arms. Bend your front knee. Keep the back heel lifted. Drop the right thigh bone a little bit deeper. Bring the arms in front of you. Pull the shoulders back into their socket. And turn and twist in your upper body. Reach the right arm back. Left arm forward. Open through the chest with the reach of the arm. Maybe draw the right thigh bone deeper. Now release the back arm and the back of the left leg and lift the left arm to the sky. Twist, feel that stretch on the left side body. Maybe slide the right fingers a little deeper down. Deep inhale, exhale, open it up. Warrior two. Right toes pointing forward, right knee points towards the second tonia. Back toes are turned in. Your back leg is strong and straight. Pull the belly in. Sit down deep in your warrior two. And now we're going to come into the eagle arm. You're going to bring the right elbow underneath the left. This is your little eagle arm. Right, arm, right elbow underneath the left. Sit down nice and deep. Good. Now you're going to lean forward like you're going to extend the side angle, really using your obliques, and then lean back like you go into a reverse warrior. That's it. Lean forward. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, lean forward. Good. Inhale, lean back. Good. Exhale, lean forward. Remember, you can hold that opposite shoulders. And inhale, lean back. Good. Release. Warrior two. Sit down nice and deep in your warrior. And you're going to step up into Arjun and Dras and Half Moon Pose. Gaze down. You're going to place our right finger. It keeps a foot in front of the right big toe. Place the left hand onto your left hip. Step the back foot in slightly. Then engage your left outer hip and lift the left leg up. You can keep the left hand onto your hips 
or you can let the left arm to the ceiling. You can gaze down or you can start to guide your gaze up to the ceiling. Hug the right hip back into the center line. And if you gaze down to your right foot, make sure that the right toes are pointing straight forward. Now, we're going to go into Chapasana variation. So slowly start to bend your back leg and see if you can capture the foot or ankle behind you. If that's not an option, just hold your half moon pose. Maybe start to kick into the left palm, roll the left shoulder back, push the front ribs and the belly more forward, and maybe start to guide your gaze back into that teardrop shape, like you're trying to bring the crown of the head back to the left toes. Good, now slowly with control, release the left foot, good, and then bend your top, the front leg, the right leg, and step back, warrior two, reverse your warrior, reach back, and bring the hands down, all the way to the mat, step back into high plank pose, holding your high plank, come down onto your forearms, elbows, Bring your feet together, side plank onto the forearms, right forearm down, left arm to the sky. Pull the belly and lift the tailbone a little higher. Focus on the breath, lengthen through the neck, then come on back down, left elbow down, roll over to the other side, reach the right arm high. Tucking the tailbone under, lift the hips to the ceiling. Slowly come on back down. Come back onto your palms. Add a chaturanga push up. Optional. Back into downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high. Just half it. Now lift the left toes even higher. Bend the knee. Circle out through the knee a couple times. As we exhale, you're going to bring the left knee to the left tricep. Now you can just hold it here and squeeze it in here. We don't. Um, a hurdler practice the other day. So if you want to practice that, bend those elbows, lean into your chaturanga arms, and lift up the legs. And hold for three, two, and one. Good. Left leg comes high to the sky. Exhale, cross it under. Bring the left knee to the right tricep. Squeeze it in. Good. Left leg comes high to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Low lunge. Rise up. Inhale, high press and lunge. Lift up the arms to the ceiling. Drop the left thigh bone deeper. Make your back leg nice and strong. Pull the belly in. Then reach the arms in front of you like you're holding a block. And exhale, turn and twist in your upper body. Reach the left arm back, your right arm forward. Soften the left shoulder away from the ear. And release the back palm to the back of the right leg. And reach the right arm to the sky. Feel that opening through the right side body. Deep in here. Stay here as you exhale. Good. Then bend your arms to open up into warrior two. Sitting down nice and deep in your warrior two. Tuck the tailbone under. Point the left knee towards the second toenail. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Now you're going to go into the eagle variation. So swing the left arm underneath the right. And you're going to go into extended side angle and reverse warrior. So go forward, exhale, extended side angle, inhale, reverse your warrior. Feel how you're using your bleeds. Your chest is facing towards the right side of the room. Your left knee still pointing straight forward. A couple more times, using the bleeds. Keep leaning. Maybe sit down a little bit deeper and slowly come back into your warrior two. Then you're gonna step up into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose Gaze down, you're going to place the left finger, keep the foot in front of the left big toe. I'm going to step in closer so you have room to step up. Check onto the left foot, make sure the left toes are pointing straight forward. And your outer left hip is hugging in. So maybe just for a couple of seconds, bend your left knee. Make sure that all four corners of your left knee point straight forward. And then you're engaging that left outer hip as you're floating the right leg all the way high. So your right leg can be the extension of your spine. And you can add the arm, maybe gaze up to the ceiling. Try not to place all the body weight into the left finger as they dare to help you to balance. Now if you want to go into Chapasana, bending the top leg, gaze down to the floor, bend your top leg, and reach back for your foot or ankle. If you have that connection, see if you can start to kick into the palm, 
push the belly, the front ribs more forward, and then maybe guide the crown of the head back, so you're creating that teardrop shape in the body. And slowly release the back foot, come back into Arjun Dras and a half moon. Gaze down to the ground, bend your left knee, point the left knee straight forward, and slowly and gently as you can, rise back into warrior two. Reverse your warrior, reach back. And then bring the hands down to the mat. Come on into a high plank position. Bring your feet together. Your right palm stays down. Roll over to the right side. Reach the left arm to the sky. Side plank vashistasana. Always have options. You can drop the bottom knee. You can tip, tip, lift the top leg up and away from the bottom leg. Or just hold a regular variation. Tuck the tailbone under. Engage your glutes. Slowly come back into high plank pose. Roll over to the other side, right palm high, left arm down to the ground, reach up to the ceiling, place your right hip directly on top of the left hip, squeeze the hips and lift the hips higher. Slowly release the right palm down to the mat. Once again, come on down onto your forearms, elbows. From here, we're going to start to walk in to dolphin pose. So see if you can keep the elbows the wrist in one line, all shoulder distance apart. Walk your feet in, but you don't have to walk them too much in, so you can still keep the spine long, the chest lifted, pressing down into the forearms, maybe bend both knees, that's absolutely fine. You can stay here, and you can start to lift one leg up and away from the mat. Now, if you come to a li lifting one leg, maybe when I go into your balance, see if you can lift the one leg, maybe a couple of hops, and then eventually maybe you find a little air time. Oopsie, pressing into the forearms. It's early morning. When you're ready, come on back into your dolphin pose, come on back into your forearm plank pose, and hold your forearm plank. Four more breaths. Pull the belly in. Gaze down in one spot onto your mat. Legs into the back of the neck. Lift the kneecaps away from the mat. Come on back onto your palms. Try not to drop the knees down. And stretch back into a downward facing dog. Hips high to the sky. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale it out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Bend your knees, coming into chair pose, Utkatasana. All right, we're going to go into ego pose on the left side. So bring the left elbow underneath the right elbow. Sit down deep, lift up the left leg, and wrap it around the right leg. So eagle on the left side, left elbow under, left knee over, tuck the tailbone under, squeeze onto the outer hips, lean back. Now lift the elbows aligned with the shoulders, but soften the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the forearms, the elbows together, squeeze the inner thighs together, and then gently tuck the tailbone under so you feel how your outer hips are working here as well. Then slowly start to lean forward. Bring the elbows close to your knees, maybe they get a touch. Maybe you can drop the hips a little bit deeper. Then just reach the arms forward, lift up the chest slightly. Keep the arms in the eagle position, unhook your left leg, and stretch the left leg back to that eagle arm airplane. Point the left toes down, level out to the hips, pull the belly in. Now slowly bend your front leg, and step back into warrior one, Hit the eagle arm. Reach the fingers to the ceiling. Maybe you're holding on opposite shoulders. You remember, that's absolutely a great option. Lift up the gaze. Good. Release the arms. Lift the arms to the ceiling. Warrior one. Bring the hands behind your back. Inlock the hands. Lift up the chest. Exhale. Slowly start to go forward. Hold the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Let the crown of the head to drop down to the earth. Deep inhale. And exhale it out. Slowly rise back up. Lift up those arms. Place the hands onto your hips.
Step the back foot in, coming to pyramid pose. Turn the hips forward, pull the belly in, both legs are straight, your back toes are turned inward. Then bring the hands behind your back. You can place opposite fists, fists pressing towards each other. You can go into a reverse namaskar, like that. Or you can grab with opposite elbows. Alright? So choose an option. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. No matter what you do with your hands, squeeze the shoulder blades, pull the belly in, and then start to lean forward just halfway. Crown of the head reaches forward, tailbone's pulling back. Your right hip is pulling back. Like I'm going behind you, I am lifting your right hip higher. Feel the connection with your left heel. Make both legs as straight as possible. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, go all the way forward. Bring the forehead down to the shin. Now re-engage the arms. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Lengthen through the back of the neck. And your hands are back there, there behind your back to remind your spine to get even longer. Good, then lift up the hands. In the other hand, squeeze the shoulder blades and then lift the fist up and overhead. Release the hands down to the mat. Maybe walk the fingers forward as you bury your forehead towards your shin. Or maybe you're framing your right foot with the fingertips. Lengthen out through the spine. Good, then bend your right leg, shift the body weight forward, and lift the left leg high to the sky, coming into a half split pose. Wrap the forearm behind the right calf, lift the left leg a little higher, bring the forehead closer to the shin, exhale, step to the top of the mat, forward, 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 fold forward, Uttanasana. Good, then bend your knees, come on back into chair pose, Utkatasana. We're going to come to eagle on the right. Grab the right elbow underneath the left, or grab on opposite shoulders. Shift the body weight to the left leg and grab the right arm, right leg up and over the left. So right elbow under, right knee over. Squeeze the inner thigh, squeeze the outer hips, pull the belly in. Shift the body weight back, lift up the chest, and bring the elbows aligned with the shoulders. Squeeze the forearms together, lengthen through the back of the neck, drop the hips a little bit deeper. Good. Now, squeezing those forearms, squeezing the inner thighs together, focus on your core, slowly start to lean forward and see if you can bring the elbows towards your knees. Maybe they're going to go all the way to touch. Maybe you just starting to head towards that direction. Wherever you are, focus on your breath. Now gently lift up the chest, keep that eagle arm. You remember, you can grab on opposite shoulders. Now, start to unbind your right knee, right leg. And then stretch the right leg back for that eagle arm airplane position. You can bend your standing leg as much as you need it. But try to straighten out to the lifted right leg as you point the right toes down. Reach the fingers more forward. Slowly start to bend your front leg. Step back into a warrior one. Keep the eagle arms. Pull the left hip back. Right hip forward. Lift up your chest. Maybe hold it on opposite shoulders. Maybe have the full bind. And release the arms. Stay in your warrior one. Bring the hands behind your back. Opposite index finger going to go on top. Bend your left knee a little bit more. Lift up the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Start to melt forward. Bring the left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Hug the left hip back into the center as you lift the fist to the ceiling. So good. Press into the back foot. Rise up all the way back into that warrior one. Lift up the arms for a breath. Then bring the hands to your hips. Step the back foot in. Come into pyramid pose. Turn the hips forward. Pull the belly in. Feel the connection with the back leg. Bring the hands behind your back. Opposite fist, elbow, or maybe a full reverse namaskar. Squeezing the shoulders together. Pull the left hip back. Engage your core. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Start to lean forward. Now as you lean forward, constantly focus on your left hip as you're lifting it, pulling it back behind you. Keeping the lower back, keeping the sacrum nice and long, pause at halfway. Gaze down at your mat without stressing the back of the neck, keeping it nice and long. Taking a deep inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to start to lean forward, bring the forehead towards the shin. Again, notice the difference in between the left and right side. Maybe feel a little bit of a shaking in the legs. As you stretch out the nerves, now re-engage the back muscles. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. See if you can let the forehead to come a little bit deeper. 
reconnect with the back leg, then interlock the hands behind your back, try to place the opposite, the awkward index finger on top as you stretch the arms up and overhead, and lengthen through the back of the neck. So good, release the fingertips down to the mat, fold all the way forward, you can just frame your left foot and go forward, or if you can go nice and deep, you can always walk the fingertips more forward, find more length through the spine as you bury that forehead towards the left shin. Couple more breath here, just feel that nice stretch. Good, then bend your left leg, fingertips down to the mat, we're going to step up into the half split pose on this side. You're reaching the right leg up to the sky. I did not tell you that you can go into your handstand. So when you come into a half split pose and you want to practice your handstand by a wall, by any mean, you can start to pick up, kick up, and see if you can come into a little handstand. All right, that's always an option. Good, and then you're ready. Step to the top of the mat. Come on into a forward fold. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toes with the index finger, middle finger. Lift up the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold. Pull the forehead towards the shins. Lift the shoulder blades away from the ears, lengthen through the spine. Release the toes, bring your feet together. Bend your knees, come back into chair pose, Utkatasana. Then bring the hands to your heart center, lean forward. And twist, hold the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Stay in your little twist, maybe place your right palm onto your lower back sacrum to make sure that your lower back is long, your knees are still together. Or maybe come down into a little arm balance, palms down to the mat, coming into a little side throw by picking your feet up and you balance on your hands in a chaturanga position. Good, come on back. Fold forward, separate your feet, hip distance apart again. Slide your hands underneath your feet. Make sure that your toes are going to touch your wrist crease. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, fold forward once again. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Pull the belly in. Push the elbows out to the side. Lengthen to the back of the leg. And release. Toe heel your feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, come back, chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up the arms. Bring your hands to your heart center, twist all the way to the left. Hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left knee, pressing the palms together. Stay here, fly your arms, or maybe come into a little side throw. Palms are down, shoulder distance apart, hooking the left knee to the outside of the right tricep, leaning to your chaturanga arms, picking up your feet. And hold. Three. Breathe, two, and one, nice job. Slowly release, fold all the way forward. Nice job, come on, sit down onto your mat. We're gonna come to a little back bending here. So lay down onto your back. We're gonna get ready for bridge pose. We're gonna do three full sets. So if Urdhva Dhanurasana, real pose is in your practice, you can start to head over real pose right away at the beginning. I'm going to cue bridge pose for the first one. Keeping the feet hip distance apart, arms by your side, lift up your hips. Now shimmy the shoulder blades just a little closer together. Press the outer arm bones down to the mat and maybe interlock the hands underneath the body as you press into the pinky edge of the paw. Tuck the tailbone under. Lift the chest up. Tuck the chin towards the chest. Squeeze onto the outer hips. And then slowly release. Feet hips down to the mat. Good, right away, going up once again, you can repeat your bridge pose, or you can go into your via pose, flipping the palms around, first come to the crown of the head, then straight at the arms, and lift the hips up and over the mat. Three more breaths, wherever you are. Feel the whole body. Try not to tense, or you don't have to tense the body. Jaw is soft. And then gently bend the elbows, if you're up in your wheel pose, Come on down. All right. One more last one. You can even choose to lift the legs up at this one. Be up, be up or bridge pose, whichever you do. Come on up. Then maybe shifting the body weight to the left leg. Bring the right knee to tabletop. And maybe lifting the right leg all the way up. Squeezing the left hip in. And then you can go all the way to the other side. 
Maybe send the left leg up. And when you're ready, come on down, all the way onto your back. Bring the soles of the feet together, Bhadrakunasana. Let your knees to fall out to the side. Place the left palm onto your heart, the right palm onto your belly. Turn the chin to the chest. Just doing it with the breath. Inhaling through the nose. And exhale it out. So good. Bring the knees closer together. Hug the knees into your chest. Rock and roll back and forth onto your mat. We're going to make our way all the way back into downward facing dog. Hips high to the sky. Now lift the right leg up. Bend your right knee. Circle the knee around and maybe flip your dog. Wild thing if you have that in your practice. Your shoulders are healthy. And come on back. Right leg high to the sky. Exhale. Step the right leg all the way to the outside of the right pinky. So you're coming into this wide, wide lunge. Then you can drop the back knee down, point the back toes back, or you can come down onto your forearm or both. You can stay on your palms, you can keep the back leg lifted, and even if you're down onto your forearms, you can tuck the back toes under and lift the left knee away from the mat for this lizard pose. Feel that opening in your hips. If you're down onto your forearms, walk your palms back. Then drop the back knee down. You're going to toe here the right foot all the way to the left edge of the mat. And come into half pigeon pose. Drop the right shin bone down. Flex the right foot towards the right knee. Turn the left hip more forward. Turn the chest forward. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, slowly melt the chest forward. If this is not a good pose for you, it bothers your knees, lay down onto your back and come on into figure four onto your back. Soften the muscles around the right hip joint. And see if you can soften the shoulders down to the mat more. Relax the muscles around the face, around the eyelids, around the jaw, softening your teeth. Maybe letting the tongue to fall away from the roof of the mouth as you relax the skin around the whole body, allowing yourself to sink deeper and deeper down into this pose. Without resisting, just letting go, opening up the muscles, the tissues around the hip joint on the right side. Drain to come back onto your palms. Tuck the back toes under. Go through an optional vinyasa. Just step back, maybe keeping the right leg lifted. And come back into downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Circle out the knee a couple times. And maybe flip your dog if that's in your practice. Lift the chest to the ceiling, push the earth away. And make your way back into a three-legged down dog, left leg high to the sky. Now as you exhale, step the left leg to the outside of the left pinky. So all the way to the outer edge of the mat. Near this runner's lunge, now you can either stay here, drop the back knee, come down onto the forearms. Or maybe when you're down onto the forearms, eventually you can tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee away from the mat. Feel the length of the spine from either the back heel or the back knee all, knee all the way to the crown of the head. Soften the left side hip. Good job. If you're down onto the forearms, walk back, drop the right knee down, and walk the left foot all the way to the right edge of the mat. Drop the shin bone, flex the foot, point the right toes back. Now slightly guide your right hip forward, pull the left hip back, lift up the chest, inhale. Exhale, come forward. Maybe start on your forearms and eventually you can relax the forehead down to the mat, relax the shoulders. Pressing into the top of the right foot is going to help you to adjust the hips. Press the right hip slightly more forward, pull the left hip back, gently engage the core so you still find that length in the lower spine in the sacrum. And allow your chest to come further down to the mat. So you start to softening the muscles around the body. Tuning in with the breath. Keeping the focus on your breath, keeping the focus on yourself. Letting go of the thoughts, tuning in with the feelings. What do you feel right here, right now, with all your senses? And gently and slowly start to come back onto your palms. Tug the back toes under. 
Lift the left leg high. Go through an optional vinyasa. You can keep the left leg lifted as you go through that vinyasa. Yeah, we're facing dog. Release the knees down to the mat. Come on down into seated position. Turn to the side. Open up the legs. Turn the toes to the ceiling. Bring the fingertips in front of you. Stay nice and tall in your spine. If you're having trouble sitting upright, you can bring the fingertips behind you. Just work that upright spine. Or you can start to walk the hands forward. Come down into the forearms. Lengthen to the spine. Point the knees. Point the toes to the ceiling. And then maybe slowly bring your arms forward. Bear down your forehead in between the biceps. Reaching the belly, the chest more forward. Lengthening out from the lower spine. Slowly walk your hands back. Bring the soles of the feet together for your Bhadrakanasana. Sit up nice and tall. Grab onto your feet. Let the knees to fall out to the side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Slowly lean forward with a flat spine. Reach with your sternum, with your chest forward. Eventually start to bow down. Bring your forehead down to your toes. Rounding through the spine. Tucking the chin to the chest. Allowing the gravitation to pull you further down. To open up through those hips. Good. And come on up. Stretch both legs in front of you. Cross the right ankle on to, uh, to the outside of the left leg. Stay right there or maybe bend your left leg and bring the left heel to the outside of the right hip. Good. Now we're going to twist a little. Then you're going to bring the right fingertips behind your body. Either hug the right knee in or maybe hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Press the entire right foot down to the mat, especially the inner arch. Once you lift. Twist from your waistline. Good, then come back to center. If you have the legs just like this, place the hands down. Lift up the hips. Start to walk around. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. Don't move your feet. You arrive into the same position on the other side. Ooh. If you don't get it, like, what just happened there? Then what you're going to do is stretch the right leg out. Bend your left knee. Bring the left foot to the outside of the right knee. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe bend the top leg as well. Left fingertips behind your back, sit up nice and tall, then turn and twist, either hugging the left knee in or pushing the right elbow into the left outer knee. See if you can release both sit bones down to the mat. Your left sit bone wants to rise away from the mat. Push it back down, twist in the body. Nice work. Come on back to center, stretch both legs in front of you, sitting, sitting in Dandasana. Grab the flash from underneath the body, lift the arms, inhale. And exhale, fold forward, Paschimottanasana. Lift up the chest, inhale. Exhale, fold all the way down. Maybe wrap the arms around, the palms around your feet, flexing your feet to the face. And then slowly rise back up. <clears throat> Plant the soles of the feet down onto the mat. And one word away at a time, roll back down onto your mat. Lay down. Final Shavasana. Just laying here for a minute to reconnect with our breath, to allow the benefits of the practice to sink in. Setting up the intention for the day by simply just focusing on the breath, clearing the mind, clearing the body. Tuning in with your breath, Slow breath in through the nose, slow breath out through the nose. Now wherever you are, just take another deep inhale in through the nose, fill up the body all the way to the top. And then open your mouth, audible exhale, release, let it out, let it go. The next inhale, just reach the arms all the way up and overhead, getting a full body stretch. Maybe bring a smile into your face. Now hug the knees onto your chest, giving yourself a squeeze. Roll over to your right side, placing the right arm underneath your right ear as a pillow, bending the knees. And then gently press yourself up into a comfortable seat, sitting down onto your mat. Bring the hands to your heart center. Maybe allow your thumb to touch your heart, feeling that heartbeat, feeling that amazing vibration of your body. And just noticing the shift in the body and the mind by simply focusing on your breath, knowing that your breath is there for you, available all the time. You can tap in anytime you want, anytime you need. 
Then you lift the thumbs in between the eyebrows. Gently lift the gaze to the ceiling. Open your eyes. And we bow forward, sealing into our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much, my beautiful friends. Thank you for showing up this morning. Thank you for practicing with me today. Hope you enjoyed your practice this morning. If you have anything you'd like to work on, put an arm balance or anything else, a nice little flow, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you like to work on. Awesome to see you all. Thank you for being here. And uh, see you guys back um, tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to have a couple guest teachers. So please look into the stories. I'm going to post it on as a story as well or as a, as a regular post as well. So you're going to see Erica is coming from Radiant this Sunday. And I'm going to have a lots of fun teachers coming up to help me teach on this side. So you guys get a daily yoga class every single day. Yes, Erica, you're coming. Uh, and uh, if you want to check out these classes anytime, uh, you can go on to YouTube at Aura 7 Yoga and download these videos and I have a lot of other videos there as well. So have a wonderful Friday, enjoy your beautiful day, keep up with a positive attitude and, uh, and keep me posted on everything, alright? Have a great day, bye guys!